おはようございます。みなさん。Mm. My other screen's really bright. I'm gonna click that off. <clears throat> so here we are in the new, the new dungeon. Um, I would read these quests, but I'm feeling kind of lazy. Fuck the quests. We gotta do some stuff in here and things. And I gotta put my buff on this tank guy. Um, actually, I joined in this this uh, instance while I was in a battleground, and um, it, it queued me as DPS. And then uh, right as I entered, everyone entered the. One of the one of the people just left. Just like, ah, we're gonna leave now. And uh, so so then we had to requeue. And then when we requeued, it instantly redid us again. And I was healer this time. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'd rather heal than uh, than do my DPS spec. To be honest, I like to heal. I like the rotation. I like the spec. I've mentioned this endless amount of times before. Um, and this place is pretty pretty supposed to be my level, right? Twenty. These things are 24. And, uh, so, you know, I'm excited about that. I've been doing those low-level dungeons so many times now. I'm ready to see something new. So, here we are in the new dungeon. Good times, good times indeed. Uh, I'm looking at it, and this, it feels really familiar. I think I might have done this one before. Uh, like maybe once or twice before. Um, back when I played it release. I, I feel like that's a true statement. <laughs> I feel like that's a true statement, but I can't be positive. Um, as far as any dungeon past this, I don't know. I don't think so. This is, uh, we're getting close to, to where I ended off, and, um, because you've seen my character, my level 36 mage, that's the highest I ever got, but that level 36 mage, she, I, I did a lot of questing for her. I don't think I did any dungeons after, like, level 30, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, they actually, they didn't have this, uh, the dungeon queuer thing. They didn't have that back when I was playing. Um, or they didn't have a very good version of it, at least. Like, I, like, I think they didn't have it at all, and then it came out right before I left. It came out, um, like a crappy version of it. Pretty much you just had to find people, uh, that wanted to go to the dungeon, and then you had to go walk to the dungeon with the entire group. Yeah, pretty shitty. And, and no one knew where any of the dungeons were, so it was like this weird... Like, you had to just run around the maps until you found them, kind of a thing. But, um, so, what did I want to talk about? The, I mentioned it last time about uh, American television and, uh, you know, Paco living in Mexico and things. And you guys, you guys over there in uh, Sweden and Denmark and wherever else you guys live. Mr. German guy, he lives in Germany. Uh, that's the assumption. But, um, so, so I've been watching a lot. And I mean a lot of Smallville. Okay, yeah, actually I have done this, this, uh... Sorry, we'll get into this in a minute. This, this boss, I have done this boss before. This, this triggered memories in my brain. Um, I totally remember this boss. I don't know what he does. I feel like he does something sneaky. I feel like that's true. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, he did something. What's happening? He's immune. What? Okay, there we go. I don't know what was happening, but thank God uh, I didn't have to do any healing there because uh, I, I wasn't doing damage to things. Or, or maybe I was. Oh, that was awkward. That's fuck. Alright, we got this boss. That was easy. That wasn't tricky at all. We've got a good tank here. I like that. Uh, we'll get a bit. We'll get a lot of intelligence. I like that. I like getting just massive amounts of intelligence, although it doesn't necessarily help me very much in uh, battlegrounds. But um, there we go, getting the heels out, getting the heels out, doing good, you guys. So I've been watching a ton of Smallville, you guys, and and my my curiosity really peaked because I was like, I wonder if people actually know what Smallville is. Because it it was pretty big here in in America when it came out, and um, and I can remember I remember watching Smallville so long ago. Oh my God, uh, Smallville came out in 2001. So you know, what is that? You know, like 13, 12 years ago, and it actually just ended in 2011. I did I had no idea it had been going for 10 seasons. There's uh there's about 21 to 22 episodes per season, and um. 
And those episodes are all, they're all an hour long format, but it's about 40 minutes long um, without like commercials and stuff in there. So, so they're all 40 minutes long. So that makes me super fucking excited because that's 20 episodes, 40 minutes each. That's a lot of content for me to watch. And, uh, and, and the reason I'm so excited is because back when I used to watch it, I, I used to, I used to watch it all the time. I really did. I really loved it. But, but back in the day, all right, let's, let's, you know, I'm not, I'm not that old. I'm only 24, but back in the day, um, the internet was, was new still. And, um, and, and like this whole downloading things on the internet or watching things like streaming, um, What's going on here? Where's... Okay, what's going on here? Where did those other guys go? Oh, I almost fell off. That could have been bad and very scary. Oh god. Don't die, bro. I got you. Alright. Um, so yeah, so back in the day, like, you really didn't go on the internet to, like, find your content. Or at least I didn't, personally. Um, I, I think it was around, but it, it was still pretty new. And, um, like, like today, like, I could just be like, uh, go to Google and type in Smallville. And, uh, I can, I can start streaming those episodes on websites. Now, now technically, it's not exactly, you know, looked upon as, like, a good thing to do, um, but uh, that's how you do it, you know? And uh, so I, I ended up downloading all the seasons. And uh, and I've been watching them. I'm on season two right now, currently. I'm almost done with season two, actually. And and I just, I love Smallville. I, I love, uh, and this, this is the weird part, because it, it brings me into Superman as a hero. And uh, and if you guys haven't seen Smallville, you, you've at least heard of Superman, you know? He's, he's a, he's a well-known kind of hero guy so Heroes, the okay. I want it rise. getting some good stuff did I win that shoulder no bullshit damn it I didn't even win that some fuck is still in all my shit uh oh is this guy a healer too why is our support a healer <laughs> that's gay dude so this, should, this should be absolutely no problem healing this then. How much damage is he doing? Tim honks. I'm doing like the top DPS for our group here. See, look at that. Why am I doing top deeps? I'm the healer. And then our support who is healing is like bottom. Well, sort of. Why is this guy healing as well? What the fuck, you stupid mage fucks? Why is there three mages in here? And we're all healing mages. What the fuck, dude? Hold the phone. I was... This is... I am angry now. I was on a roll. I was talking about Smallville. I wasn't distracted. And these stupid motherfuckers... Dare. They dare. Oh my god. They dare. To all be healers too? What the fuck? All right, she looks like she's actually DPS. She she just has this because she has that as her thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm overreacting. These these fuckers are pissing me off though. I'm the healer, damn it. I don't need their stupid heals bullshit. They need to they need to do more DPS. Who? All right, breathe, y'all. So so we need to talk about Superman as a hero. And, um, and like what I think about him, how I feel about him. Let's, uh, let's do this, why not? And, uh, and I've had this weird love-hate thing with Superman for a really long time. Because when I was younger, I really loved Smallville. And, and now I really love it as well. Um, but Superman is a hero. I, like, like at first I didn't like him. Like before Smallville, I didn't like Superman. I thought... He's, he's just this stupid, overpowered hero. Like, what's the fun in that? He he can do everything, and, you know, he pretty much has whatever powers the, the writers want to give to him. He's fucking Superman. Sh well, you want him to do this? Fine, do that. Or this or that. It, it didn't matter. Like, just do whatever the fuck you want with him. And, uh, 
you know, there wasn't really any, any rules or limitations to what Superman could do. You know, he just had to do what he needed to do to get the situation under control. So, so you know, I always just... Oh. Well, then. Good luck. They locked us out. So, um... So hopefully they die. Well, we'll see. I've got a healer in there, so that should be alright. I think they started a boss fight or something. I don't even know what's going on. I don't think I got this far in this dungeon, though. Because none of this is... I don't remember the rest of this. But, um... So, yeah. Anyway, so he's just this overpowered superhero. And, uh... And it just kind of... I don't know. I just never liked him. And then I watched Smallville. And in Smallville, even though he's, like, overpowered and he can, like... He can take anyone, basically, you know? I mean, he has his weakness, Kryptonite. But there's there's a lot more... You know, there's a lot more to it than just that. Um, you know, the kryptonite isn't just this only thing. A lot of it is you just have to you deal with the people around him. He's trying to save people, and <clears throat> and, and it makes it difficult for him to do what he does. And, and he's trying to keep his secret. Like, he's trying to hide his secret. And that's what really, that's what really pulls it out. Um, uh, how, how do I explain it? That's, that's what really, like, does it, I guess. Uh... If that makes any sense. Did someone die here? Oh, I think those two died in there. Hold on. I gotta help these guys. Why is he, like, saying shit, you, s you dumb bastard? Like, yeah, like, he's, like, talking strategy, and there was only two of them in there. What the fuck, dude? Calm down. Unlock the group out again. <laughs> Jesus. We're doing, we're doing something in here, so fuck it. Let's get in here. What's going on? I was on a roll here. So, so yeah, so, um, so he's like, he's like constantly trying to keep his, his secret, you know? So like, he can't let people know that he's this like super badass. So it, it makes him really, it, it puts him in these situations that make it really difficult for him to save anybody because he doesn't, he doesn't have his, you know, Superman like suit thing, which, which in and of itself is really stupid that he just puts on this suit and all of a sudden he's not Clark. Clark Kent anymore like he's not super like you know like it's the it's the worst <laughs> it's the worst disguise ever in in like superhero history it's so easy to tell who he is that you know he just puts on a suit and it's like you're supposed to know it's not him uh, I don't know I, I don't know a lot about Superman so so if you guys do know a lot about Superman I'm sorry if I'm talking nonsense right now but I'm just talking from my perspective of you know, my, my limited knowledge of Superman, and... Alright, we disabled it. Yay! Something, something happened. Um, and, and so it's just this... You know, he was always just this weird character, but in Smallville, they really portray him as this different, awesome kind of thing. Let's go ahead and turn this in. Uh, it gives me some endurance. Can't be all that bad. Sure, why not? Oh, just put it on me. Just put these on because they give endurance over wisdom. I think that's fine. Okay. Everyone get in, please. Hold on. Wait. Wait for the other guy to get in. He's coming. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, so I, I, I started reading up on the wiki about um, Smallville and you know, seeing when it started and everything, and, and I was really surprised to see that it was going till 2011, which, phew, I had no idea that it, 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 it's been going so terribly long, um, but, um, it didn't lock us out this time, what's going on? Okay, well, here we go, we're on boss time, 
Um, so yeah, I was reading the wiki, and... Oh my god, this tank is taking a lot of fucking damage. Let me focus here. So sorry. Oh, he's immune. That's why I wasn't healing him. There we go, there we go. Let's get the heals going down. Okay, now he's immune. We gotta kill the fire pistol. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's drop the heals. Touch. So I, I gotta focus for a minute and I'll finish my thoughts here in a, just a minute here about Smallville and Superman. It, it's been something I've been thinking about for a while. Like, So I have this like big rant for, <laughs> about Superman. So if you have any thoughts on Superman, please go ahead and comment them. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and hear your things about, uh, about TV, American TV, if you guys are watching a lot of American television. Or like how that works outside of uh, the U.S. I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting indeed. Who knows? All right. Well, that's the <clears throat> that's the end of this uh, instance right there. Bam. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was. That's a pretty short instance. Uh, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not exactly done talking. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Let's, uh, let's get out of here. How, how the fuck do I get out of here? Set ascended mentor level? What the fuck does that even mean? Please enter your desired mentor level so I can lower my level? That's kind of weird. Come on, teleport me out. Please. I should have left before I left the group. That was my first mistake. It's not letting me join these because I'm in a, in this in this area. So, so anyway, back to Superman. So, you know, Superman, Smallville. Anyway, so yeah, so Smallville. I was reading the wiki and the wiki, the wiki, yeah, and um, and so it turns out that the first four seasons are with um. Sorry, with Clark, with uh, Superman, he's when he's in high school, and you know his his experiences with like Lana and Chloe, and you know his family and things. And then after the first four seasons, he he starts to work at um, I can't I can't specifically remember the name. It's the Daily the Daily Planet. I think that's right. He he works at a it's a, like a news place, the Daily Planet, and. And, and it's interesting thinking about him, you know, working at this like major news kind of newspaper network kind of place because that's a good way for him to, to find out news about things to help people or other things like that to get leads and things so he can help save people. So, so you know, I, it just makes sense that he would be working at a place like that. But um, so so that's interesting. I had no idea. Uh, I thought Smallville was just all him in in uh, in high school, which him all being in high school doesn't really make sense. You know, because uh, I, I, it just doesn't make sense. He, he shouldn't be in high school for 10 seasons. But so that's awesome. So I'm actually really fucking excited because I don't think I've seen any Smallville past the first four seasons. I think I've only seen Smallville when he's been in high school, um, which which is makes me super excited because I've actually I as I've been watching through these first couple of seasons, I've remembered a lot of. Let's just, let's just wander around here while we wait. Um, you see, I have a little patch here. I, I spawned. I, I died in a dungeon, and I got pissed, so I left the group. So I had to spawn over there and teleport back. Um, let's head to uh, let's head to the main town here. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited to uh, just to watch it, just to see Superman. I don't know why. That like like I I told you guys that I hated Superman that I think he's like a stupid superhero and and to put this out there I don't like any of the other superheroes at all like any of the American super DC or Marvel 
like superheroes. I kind of used to like Spider-Man a little bit. I, I liked the first movie a lot, and that was the extent of my interest for Spider-Man. I didn't really care for him that much. And I, I don't really care about Batman. Batman's becoming really big lately. And I just don't give a shit about Batman. I, I don't know. I used to think I used to have this opinion that Batman was a was a better and cooler superhero because he didn't have superpowers. But I don't give a fuck about that anymore. I think he's kind of a stupid superhero that you can't relate to. I can't relate to this billionaire, you know, billionaire playboy that can buy whatever the fuck he wants. You know, like I, I can't relate to that really. I don't like Batman, and I don't like any of the other ones really at all. You know. Psh I, I just don't. I don't know why I don't like superheroes, but because because I like J like Japan superheroes, you know, Japanese superheroes like Dragon Ball Z, like Goku. I I consider him a superhero, or you know, like Naruto and Bleach. You got Ichigo, and you know, One Piece. You got Luffy. You know, all these like kind of superhero characters. Here we are, the Codex again. Awesome. So so you know, there's all these like superheroes within the Japanese world that we don't I don't personally see them as superheroes in the sense of the American term which is when, whenever someone says superhero you automatically have to think of DC and Superman and Spider-Man and you know all those like you know all those really iconic you know comic styled superheroes and I just don't think of the Japanese characters in the same way at all like yeah they're superheroes but they're they're just so different, you know? They're so different than the, the American comic book characters. Like, oh my god, it's ridiculous how, like, different they are. So, so you know, I love Japan. Like, let's get away from that. I love all that shit. But as far as, like, the American superheroes, I just don't... I've never liked them. And I even had my weird, like, back and forths with Superman and you know, Batman and, you know, kind of liking those, those, like, really big, iconic ones, but, you know, I just don't really like them that much, so, I'm gonna have to kill myself, yeah, I'm gonna die, actually. Hold on. Ah, oh, focus, a little focus. Can't hurt. First blood. There we go, kill him! Yes, good job, good job. Good job, team. I'm proud of you all. Let's get in here. He's mounting up, I should have mounted up. Oh, I'm just gonna run it. I'm gonna hoof it. Look how, how much he like didn't really catch up. So, so yeah, so so I haven't liked him, and with Superman, I've gone back and forth. He's this overpowered bastard, but but now, like, I don't know what happened. Like, some switch in me just flipped, and I fucking love Superman now. I love him to death. Oh, my God. And part of that is uh, the, there was a death battle. If you guys have seen this, it's the death battle between Superman, Superman versus Goku. If you search that in YouTube, you'll find it. And it's a death battle where Superman fights Goku. And, and the death battle series is always just trying to figure out who would win. Um, and, and it just pits various different characters from different, uh, you know, different things to, to really just to see who would win a fight. And, um, and it turned out, I, I don't want to spoil it. You, you guys go ahead and watch it. Um, you know, I'll let you guys decide on that. And, uh, I'm gonna focus here. Um, so I'll let you guys decide. And, and go watch that if you're interested. But but after that, that that kind of spurred my respurred my interest in Superman, and um, so this fucking dude, man, he's so hard. I can't heal you, bro. Can't heal you. You're gonna have to run, please. All right, this ain't going nowhere. So yeah, this Vanix guy, he's pretty good. I think he's geared as fuck, though. Um, I have no way of, like, confirming that. I'm gonna die here. Now, oh, I was, I was like, maybe I'll live, but they chased me, of course. See, look, every time I join this fucking thing, I'm getting overly annoyed at this. I'm gonna have to write an angry post to try on, telling them they're a terrible company and they deserve to die, because I'm pissed off that this keeps fucking up. And I remember it doing this when I started, when I first started playing. So it should be fixed by now. God damn it! 
so yeah so back to superman so so yeah i just love him you guys i am enjoying watching smallville so fucking much i am enjoying the shit out of it i am just squealing and you know i'm yelling at clark because you know he's like fucking up his relationships with chloe and uh and lana because he he just doesn't know what he's doing and he's he's getting all these new powers like you know his heat vision and his x-ray so he can see through shit and he doesn't know what he's doing and and it's just it's beautiful and and, and he can't tell anybody about his secrets so it's just him and his family and he's really it's just awesome it's you can connect with him so well in smallville they did such a good job and and I don't want to talk it up too much. The writing in it's not amazing. Like, <laughs> the writing in it's pretty bad at times, to be quite frankly honest. Like, like uh, especially during season one. The, I mean, the the acting. I feel personally, I'm I'm not a big judge or like a good judge of this, but I personally feel like the acting is pretty good. Um, I like the actors. I like Clark, the, the the actor that's doing Clark. I like Chloe and Lana, and you know, I like all that. They're all. They're all good. I think they get it, did a good job choosing choosing the roles. But um, but the writing, you know, the writing can be a little cheesy and a little silly at times. Like in the first season, one of the the gym coach or something like that, he he uh, he's ex he's exposed to the meteor rocks, um, the kryptonite, um, those kryptonite rocks, and uh, it makes it so he can like when he gets angry, he can burst things into fire or into flames, and. Um, so, so what ends, ends up happening is, I remember one of the scenes where I was watching it, I was like, you silly bitches, what the fuck are you doing? Like, like I, I was watching the episode and, and the principal came in to talk to him because he was, uh, he was doing this really shady shit. He's like this kind of evil dude. And uh, so he got really pissed off and his TV just exploded into flames. So his TV is just on fire. And, and the principal just looks at him, right? The principal just looks at him and then... Like, oh, it's just so stupid. Fuck you guys. They're gonna kill me. I gotta go back and attack her. Fuck, get off the wall. I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, so yeah, so his TV just explodes into flames, right? And, uh... And it's just so dumb because, like, the principal just, like, looks at him and they just look at each other. None of them say anything. They, they don't look very surprised. They just look at each other. And then the principal walks out of the building. The TV's still on fire. He walks out of the building, goes to his car, gets in his car like nothing happened. And then the, the, the gym coach, the TV, still on fire, mind you. He looks out the window. He pulls the window down. He's not freaking out that there's a fucking fire right there that he needs to put out he doesn't give a shit about that he's looking out and he so he like starts the the guy's um the principal's uh car he lights his car on fire just uh, you know and uh you know and tries to burn the principal and uh <laughs> and it's just so fucking stupid like why do they have no reaction to this fire that's happening it's fire i would be freaking the fuck out that something is on fire right like it's fire do you not understand you don't just like look at it and like oh the tv set on fire and then like start glaring at the principal and he leaves and like well, what the fuck Are you kidding me and there's like another part where uh where like the sprinklers he sets the, the sprinklers on fire they're out in the field and he's like yelling at the the football um the football players he's yelling at them and um <laughs> and and like as he's yelling at him all of the sprinklers set on get set on fire they all start burning and shit and it's like you got to be kidding me right like why the fuck is this a, is this happening it's it's just mind blowing that uh that they they didn't respond to the fire they weren't freaking out that the field that they're standing in is now all just bursting into flames you know like like a normal person would uh react to it Fuck that Killing guy, dude. He's annoying. In your kitchen? What is that? Kill five enemies near a control point. Okay. Um. So I I digress. I digress. I'm sorry. Um. So so the writing isn't amazing. That that episode particularly was really bad. A lot of the epi other episodes aren't that bad. Um. The again the first season was kind of kind of bad. Like every episode, there was always 
there was always yep. kryptonite and that was what was like stopping like Clark from doing it like kryptonite always happened to be just wherever he needed to go to like save someone or you know do whatever he was gonna do right like kryptonite always without fail was gonna be there so it made this weird like kind of predictable like silliness oh I need to get up there um it just made this really predictable silliness to to the whole series um, but it, it's gotten better in season two and I'm sure it'll get better and better as the, as it goes on. And, you know, being in 2001, the, they have a lot of, uh, okay, that's, that's good. That's good. Um, Hold on, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, we're not gonna go in there. Um, so, um, so yeah, what was I saying? I, I really like Superman. Uh, I would like to get your thoughts. I feel like I had more of a, a thing going here. Like, more than just a rambling about Superman and superheroes. But, um, I'm really enjoying Smallville. I'm watching the shit out of it right now. Uh, I wonder if you guys know anything about Smallville. Um, I'm really curious to see what your thoughts on that is. And, um, and just what your thought on superheroes in general are. Like, do you guys like them, or... I don't know, I don't know. Just give me your thoughts. Let me... Lay it on me. What's going on in your brains? I'd like to... I'd like to hear. Oh, this guy is dumb. He's gonna die. Yeah. You try and run, bro. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I've, I've been really enjoying it, though. Like, I really enjoy Clark's struggle to, to be normal and to learn his new abilities and, and his constant struggle f for love between Chloe and, and Lana. And, and he really loves Lana, but Chloe's kind of there and Chloe's so adorable. I think she's, she's really cute. Like, the actress is really cute for Chloe and I think she's a lot cuter than Lana personally. Um, but it's just it's oh, it just hurts my heart you know it just i just sit there screaming like clark clark what are you doing no clark he's like fucking up everything and, and he's getting into these terrible situations that you know he can't just explain away You're like no oh, clark why why does why does these bad things happen to him he just gets into these terrible situations that he can't do anything about and you just feel so bad for him oh Oh, my heart bleeds for you, Clark. I'm so sorry. Oh, my. You alright, bro? Got you. Get in there. Get in there. Rampage. Um. So, yeah. So. Whew. Now that I got that off my chest. Smallville, you guys. I would recommend go ahead and watching the shit out of that. Smallville is amazing. If if you don't like Superman, give it a try. Just just give Smallville a try. They really put a different spin on maybe not a different spin, but they they put Superman in a really cool they they show him in a really cool way. Uh, if that makes any sense. Like they they really do justice to who Superman is and and it's just it's just beautiful. I don't know. I don't like it. Do this. Get my heels going, son. This guy was DPS like a boss, dude. He's a storm whatever. So, works for me. Oh, I think I just did the heels on the wrong person there. Um, so yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. See what you think. See if, uh, see if Smallville does it for you. And, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's grasped me so hard that I've actually considered, like, buying a couple Superman comics, like, actually looking in more in depth into Superman in the comics and I've never I've never owned an American comic like an American comic book I've never owned one I guess if you consider like Mark Crilly's work cuz he's an he's an American manga artist is what I call him but a lot of people have different opinions on what is manga and what isn't and most people say if you're not Japanese living in Japan making manga for Japanese people then it doesn't count as manga and uh, I don't necessarily agree with that sentiment, um, personally. Um, 
but oh god that sucks i was right there you see that um oh hey we're gonna win that makes me happy so so yeah so so you know i, I don't know i'm really liking superman you guys i'm really liking superman and uh so I hope this, uh, <laughs> I hope my crazy ramblings throughout this episode interest you at all. Uh, because I had been, I'd really, blah, blah, I've been really wanting to talk with, with you guys about it for a while now. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't like Superman now. Apparently, apparently that's my thing. I like Superman. What of it? What? What? Come at me, bros. So let's go ahead and check this out. Top damage? Definitely not. Top healing? Wait, no, that was... So damage taken. I took a fuck ton of damage. I did a good amount of damage. I healed a pretty good amount of damage. And uh, I healed myself for most of that damage that I've healed. Look at that. Healing taken. I healed that much and I did that much. See? Okay. Alright, well. So there we go. Let's go Let's go do my level up real quick here. Um, and I'll go ahead and let you guys go go about your day doing whatever you do. Thinking about Superman. Thinking about superheroes. Alright. I love it. Alright, let's take my equipment. Ooh, I'm gonna go watch some more Smallville, you guys. I'm excited. Your synthesis increased heals from your lifebound veil. Ooh, that's good. That'll help my... So when I put synthesis on someone, it'll make them be healed even more. But I don't need that. Let's see. Damage from vital spores ruin. Place a stacking buff on you, reducing the global cooldown of your next nature's touch. Global cooldown? That's this guy, right? Uh, with 10 second to 1 second reduces the cast time. Oh! Ooh, I really like the sound of that. Casting, in increase your... Uh, this is good. I want to put 1 into that for now. That, that's actually really good to get a lot into that. That'll increase my intelligence by quite a lot. Increases your endurance by 5% of your equipment. Modified intelligence. What? Increases your endurance by 5% of your equipment modified intelligence. So my equipment intelligence will increase my endurance. I like it. I like all of these, you guys. Um, I also kind of like this. I cannot spend any more into this tree. So, so we're going to get this because it reduces cast time by all of their spells you see there. Um, so that's, that's one thing to do. Save it. All right, guys. So, I'm going to go watch some more Smallville, and, uh, I don't know, and, uh, I don't, just enjoy myself, so I will see you guys next time. I'm sorry for rambling on for so long, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Ja, mata.